Hi there, this is Sofia from Somo and our team is happy to share with you our new fintech template, which is called FinCore. So we have created it for companies to cover their corporate spendings and it contains a landing page and an application itself. So let's take a look at the landing page first. Uh, it has a cool first block with some details about an application. So the next is about us. It has some advantages of it. The next block is how it works. So it represents the necessary steps which needs to be followed by a user to start using the application. The next is our benefits. And the last one, contact us for, with the help of which user can send a contact request. So then let's get to know more about the user roles. So if we speak about the roles here, we have two of them. So this is company representative or company admin. This type of user needs to sign up to proceed with an onboarding, providing his personal and company details and pay the subscription. As soon as the onboarding is successfully finished, he is able to proceed to the dashboard to create the budgets, to invite the team members and share the existing budgets with them. Uh, so if we talk about the second role, it's a company employee or just a member who is being invited by company admin. So this type of user should be invited first, then he will be able to reset the password and get the access to the application, use the budgets or send a mandatory reimbursement request. So let's proceed then with a sign up flow and see how both of users can act. Uh, so I will use a template email address for this purpose. So let's sign up first. Okay. So now I should get a welcome email. Yeah, and confirm my email address. And proceed with an onboarding. So at this slide, I have completed my personal details and I can proceed to the company ones. So So here I have completed the company details and I can go next. If we talk about the subscription type, we have created here a trial one, limited and unlimited. So you can uh, read the details here. I will choose limited type of subscription and proceed to the Stripe payment, which we have integrated here at the third party integration. So to test the payment, you can use the test data which I'm using now. Okay. And to make uh, the subscription payment. So as soon as the subscription is successfully made, or paid, yeah, so you will get back to the application and then will be redirected to the Stripe again to create a Stripe account in this case, because you will be always charged uh, uh, for the subscription. So you need to provide your mobile number and email address to proceed. So after providing the phone number, we will need to proceed with the phone number verification. And after this step, uh, so you will be able to skip the necessary flow from the Stripe just for the testing purpose. So you can go below and click the save for later, skipping this necessary step from the Stripe. So, uh, and here we are, 
here is our dashboard so here is an admin profile company admin profile i mean so here we have account screen with all of the details about the budgets and everything so here the budgets itself so this is some limits or budgets yeah which have been created for the members uh, expenses so this is a screen with mandatory requests from the team members team itself so this is a list of users and settings this is the screen with company and personal details so let's proceed to the team first and invite one more user with a standard role so i will change my account and take uh, one more email address to invite a new team member sorry so he will have a standard role let's also add some phone number for him for her and save the details then i can go to the budget screen and create a new budget so i will call it test budget in terms of the card categories which these budgets can be limited to we didn't attach any from the stripe so you can do it uh, yourself so these are here just some test options which you can use uh, for the testing purpose and creating a budget i will set up some limit for all of the users yeah start and end date and save it so i have shared it with both members and as soon as i did it uh, both of users should get a notification so uh, yeah but before we go to the standard user let me uh, represent to you also the account screen how it will change so as far as you can see here so this is the amount that i as a company admin have on my account and can use credit this is a balance uh, or amount which has been uh, shared with the team members yeah so we have like two users uh, which are being assigned to one budget so 200 in total uh, reimbursement we have nothing from that side and business accounts also here nothing we have so if we go to a standard role as far as you can see i have here a welcome email with the help of which i can proceed to the profile and uh, already one more notification about new budget which i have been attached to so let's start then with a welcome email and go to the profile so but first i need to reset my password okay let's proceed so here it's how uh, the profile looks for a standard user as far as you can see here in the left sidebar we have not so many tabs yeah so we have just a wallet here with all available budgets and settings with the personal details so let's proceed to the wallet uh, again uh, here as a user you can view your, your available budgets with its name with your card uh, with the amount that you have on this card etc uh, so we assume it uh, using definitely as a physical card yeah but uh, due to having no card categories being attached to stripe uh, so uh, for now it's uh, not working because we are using the test data but you can set up it additionally if we talk about some mandatory actions here from the side of user so he can request a mandatory reimbursement in case for example if the card categories uh, don't let him to proceed with the payments or any other reasons so let's keep here test vendor amount for example ten dollars ten dollars choose budget and save it in this case as soon as user 
has sent this um, request, yeah, reimbursement request. So this amount is being in the pending status and it has been calculated from the total amount of $100. Uh, so let's go back to the company uh, admin. He will be able to get the notification. Uh, yeah, just let me show it to you. And I can go to the necessary screen, view it in the pending status, open it, view the details, also leave any comments and approve it. Confirm. Okay, approved. And it should uh, change the status. And in this case, the standard user will also get the same notification and will be able to view all of the comments being sent and the status that has, has also been changed from the approved, sorry, from pending to approved. So that's it of how it's working. Uh, we'll be glad to answer all of your questions. Uh, let's keep in touch. Uh, have a good day. See you. Ciao.